The time now is 916 this Sunday morning and May is Melanoma Awareness Month and with summer right around the corner, it's more important than ever to know the signs and symptoms. Joining us live in our studio this morning, dermatologist Dr. Harris Blackman and also melanoma survivor Mr. Hap Greener. Good morning. Good morning. For people who may not know, what is melanoma? Melanoma is a skin cancer. Unfortunately, it's the, the trickiest and the most dangerous of all the skin cancers. How so? It's tricky in that uh, it doesn't fo always follow routine patterns. Usually it's tricky in a bad way, but it could also be tricky in a good way. Uh, the thickness of the melanoma is directly proportional to the worsening prognosis of the patient. However, some melanomas, they can be very bad mm -hmm. and they can totally disappear. How do you know if you have it? Uh, melanoma uh, is a uh, skin cancer of the pigment cells and usually it represents a dark mole or dark spot. And it, it, if the dark spot has an irregular border, uh, if the color is uh, not uniform, if it's large, greater than six millimeters, if it's evolving or changing, and also if it's asymmetric, if one half is different than the other half, mm -hmm. then we worry about that. Mr. Greener, how did you discover that something was wrong? Well, actually, my, my wife did, uh, uh, about this time last year, I had a spot on the back of my calf, and it had been there like a freckle for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. It was originally a sunburn 30 years ago, but it just healed like a freckle. And she noticed uh, about this time last year that it was growing in thickness. Mm. And um, when we came back from that trip, we um, made the appointment to see Dr. Blackman, and he did my biopsy. And, and how has your journey been? It's been a difficult year. I had surgery August the 2nd to have it removed. Uh, my lymph node dissection was positive, which means it had already spread to my lymph node, but not, they had, they had found a little bit in there. So I am undergoing a year treatment of interferon right now, which is a drug that, in, that um, it, uh, enhances your own body's immune system. Uh, I've missed about five months of work this year because I just could not work with it for a long time. It's a very fatiguing chemotherapy drug um, and you have many different type of side effects and you never know which day you wake up which one you want to have. Dr. Blackman, yeah. he mentioned that he, he <coughs> noticed a spot on the back of Correct. his leg and then it got thicker and I would imagine as with most cancers, early prognosis is key. Correct. Uh, he had that spot for over 30 years hmm. uh, and it pretty much was dormant. Then all of a sudden it just kind of grew and he came in as soon as he, he noted that. Something interesting that we talked about during the break before we came back, what is the difference in someone detecting whether or not they have melanoma? I know it varies from race to race. Correct. Uh, the vast majority of people who have melanomas have very fair skin. Uh, they kind of look like hap. Mm -hmm. They have reddish hair. They're, they're most susceptible. There are also people who get sunburns intermittently. There are people who work inside but are kind of weekend warriors and they'll go to the ah. beach and they'll get a sunburn. It's usually not uh, the farmer or the fisherman who's out in the sun every day of the week. Um, the thing that's really important to notice though, nobody's immune f from melanoma. It's a very tricky disease. And there is actually a special melanoma that uh, Afri African Americans get mm -hmm. that's actually on the bottom of the foot. So it's a very tricky, tricky disease and you can't take anything for granted. Is it a spot on the bottom of the foot it's as well? It's a black spot on the bottom a of the foot. A black spot on the bottom of the foot. What should anyone do if they suspect they have melanoma? If they see anything that's changing, we call it the ugly, ugly duckling. Mm -hmm. If they see something that just doesn't look right, they should go to their physician. Uh, who usually refers them to the dermatologist. All right. Dr. Harris Blackman, thank you so much for thank joining you, us Latanya. this morning. And melanoma survivor, Hap Greener, thank, thank you for you being for here. Thank you for inviting me. Our thank pleasure. You.